Okay, YouTube lady, this is for the mean commenter on YouTube. The short answer of why you always see Lester building fences is because Lester builds a lot of fences. Uh, Lester builds a lot of fences. That right there would be me. That right there, lady, is me. And I do build a lot of fences. And I'll put the barbed wire over on this side of the post. Now, the neat thing about that is eventually over time, we'll save. So I almost slipped and fell. That. <laughs> oh, my God. See that right there. That's the way God speaks to you. That's the way God will speak to you. Uh, you say something a little bit mean to somebody or you do something wrong and God will be like, boy, you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth or I will get you. Hey folks, Longhorn Lester here and I have put it off long enough. Today I have to complete a fencing project to get Tex and family over here. The riffraff between he and Billy had gone on forever, and now it's starting with Moses. You've seen those videos. I'll explain the whole thing to you in a few minutes. Let me get uh, turned around, and we'll drive over there, and I'll show you what I'm working on. All right, you guys, come on. This is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, this is the step we've been waiting for. This is the this is the final piece of the puzzle to get those cows over. So it's an important day for me. All right, I want to show you what I'm going to do, what my plans are, and uh, try to follow along with me. I'm going to put my corner post right here, and I'm going to run me a short fence to this corner of the garage. It's so that whenever I want to bring my tractor, my four-wheeler, my, you know, my lawnmower, or anything that I need in the barn, feed, hay, I can come out of this big garage door, and I'm already in my cattle pasture. I don't have to go through a bunch of gates. I want to take you around front, though, and show you what's going to happen in the front of the garage okay so now i want these two doors to be an actual inside my yard so i'm going to take my fence the cattle fence and i'm going to start it at this corner post i'm going to put me a corner post right here and i'll go right over there to about that cluster of trees and at that point i'm going to turn and kind of go up that hill to where we at that column right over there now the reason i'm going to do it this way is because this is going to be a part of my yard uh yeah it makes a big yard and it's kind of dirty now because i don't have a lot of grass growing here yet but i want this to be a part of my yard so that i can use this big garage door and the little access door to use when i want to bring my lawnmower my tractor my four wheeler in through here without having to stop and open a lot of gates. So there is a little bit of, uh, there's a reason behind the madness, but uh, the reason that I'm gonna use barbed wire is because it's cheap, it's fast, it's easy. I can get it done in, in a day. And as soon as those pet posts settle and the concrete hardens, I can run that wire and be done. Uh, eventually though, I'll come back when I can afford it and I'll put these same kind of boards here on the other side of the post so you'll have from this perspective it'll look real pretty it'll match up to that right there and that's what we would eventually you know envision for being you know as beautiful as we can possibly make it but the barbed wire on the other side will serve a practical purpose in the here and the now all right so this over here will be my official ground breaking hole for this fencing project i've just broken the ground i've gone down about two and a half foot deep I'm going to have to bring me a post and a bag of concrete. Let that set and get hard. I'll run me a string line down and I'll set my next post right over there so I can make sure that this fence is straight. I wanna show you all something and this is no knock on Jake or my dad or my brother or anyone else that does gates and fences. But if you're going to put a fence and you know there's going to be a gate Guys, if you can, if you already have the gate, just lay it down between your post and make sure you put the post in the exact right spot because you want to make sure you have about that much on this side. You need that much space for these little brackets right here. You also want to make sure you come close enough on the other side 
so it'll close easily and you can still get maybe a store-bought a real latch system or at least nothing else your chain will go all the way around a lady on YouTube now listen to me I'm not trying to be mean which means I am gonna be mean but no a lady on YouTube she comments and she goes you act like you're the only one that ever makes a fence. She goes, every Morrow man that I know can build a fence. They just don't go around showing off all their fencing skills. <sighs> okay. So, hold on a minute. Every Morrow man that you know. So, who all do you know of the Morrow men? You know Ellie. Ellie. You know Jake, and you know my dad, and you know me. So, okay, so let me get this straight now, lady. This is a YouTube commenter. Normally, YouTube commenters are friendly. Facebook commenters are a little bit more... Uh, okay, so fine, we'll just skip that part. But You know four Morrow men, and every one of the Morrow men you know can build a fence, yet I'm the only one who makes videos about it. All right, here we go. My dad has not built a fence in years. You've never seen my dad building a fence. Oh, my dad can build fence, but my dad hasn't built a fence in years. And the last fence that was on my dad's property, me and Fidel built it. That was two or three years ago. Jake cannot build a fence. You've never seen Jake build a fence. I bet Jake could because Jake has worked and built plenty of fences with me, but never by himself. L.E. has never built the fence. He has worked with me a few times, but you've never seen L.E. building a fence. That means, guess what? That right there would be me. That right there, lady, is me. And I do build a lot of fences. And you know what? I'm not trying to brag on my fence building, but uh, uh, I'm pretty damn good. Just saying. And you know how I'm good? Because I practice. Because practice makes you better. And why would you even comment that? Listen, what is there to gain in even commenting something like that? That's what gets me about people who comment. I'm going to say something, and I'm going to make a lot of y'all mad. But I'm going to say it anyway, and I'm going to walk over here into the building so I can get the wind off of me, because what I'm about to say is probably going to make a lot of y'all mad. So just walk with me for a minute, and let's keep noticing some fences now, I'm sure Jake could have done it, and my dad could have done it, and Lee could have done it, because every Morrow man she knows could have done it. You've never seen Uncle Dan build a fence. And Uncle Dan can build a fence, but you've never seen him build one. Hey, just saying, just saying. I'm just taking the long way around, everybody. I'm just taking the long way around. Why would I be taking the long way around? Well, I don't know why I'm taking the long way around. I'm just taking a little nature walk, passing through all the fences that I'm working on and fences that I've built. Oh, that's all I'm doing is just showing y'all how straight and pretty everything is, passing through roots and clay and all kinds of stuff. All right, I think I'll stop over here. This is far enough. What do you hope to gain by that? Seriously, what do you hope to gain by that? Because you know what I do? I vlog. They call that vlog. Video logging, blogging. I video log what I do. That's what video creators do. And so you make videos of what you do. They call that vlogging. And I make a lot of fences. And you probably saw me build one or working on one here last week. And you probably saw me working on one for about a month there behind me. And you'll probably see me working on a few more before it's over and done with. And so I make videos of what I do. 
Duh! But you know what drives me nuts? Is that old Jason over there at Coghill Farm. Because all he does is walks around and feeds animals like every freaking day, like every video. And I'm like, doesn't he do anything else besides walk around and do farming? I mean, sheesh. Boy, if that ain't bad enough, though, then you got that guy Daniel Arms over there at Arms Family Homestead. And in every darn video, he's out there doing some kind of homesteading. I mean... Can't these guys find normal things to do? Because I can name a lot of homesteaders and a lot of farmers. Don't you kind of get how ridiculous that sounds? Look, I can also hang gates. I can do that. Y'all want to look? I can also hang gates. I did that. And I didn't even video about it. Dang it. I forgot to video that one. No, I'm kidding. Listen to me, but I'm not kidding. This is a joke, yet it's not a joke. What the joke is, is for the folks who get onto a video to post a weird... That, listen, all your comment was meant to do... I can only think of one thing. There was only one intended purpose of your comment, and that was to incite either some kind of anger out of the folks that support my efforts in building my farm, slash... Less, uh, you know, Longhorn Lusters, or either you're hoping to find some other people that are just sick and tired of watching Lester build a fence. Yeah, let's just roast him, roast him, roast him, roast! <laughs> it's really, really, what is the point? Like, what is the point? I thought I had a spider climbing on me. <laughs> So, I'll tell y'all a funny story, but it's not that funny. Uh, first of all, let's stop all the dramatics. Let's just calm down. Let's all take a breath and calm down. Because all that screaming roast and everything probably drew, is going to pull the neighbors out of their quiet homes. And we don't want that. Let me turn the camera around and get it off oh, my face. Oh, this one here is going to require a walk down to the river. You know what? Let's not go to the river. Let's just walk over to Lester's Prayer Place. Let's walk over to Lester's Prayer Place and talk about commenters. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the pros and the cons of running a video page. And if you're smart and if you have mind control, you can make even the negatives into a positive. All right, so let's just go back to about five years ago. The first time that many people ever heard of this guy, Lester. This guy who came home to his farm after it had been flooded, covered in six foot of water by a hurricane flood, right? So you saw this guy walking up his driveway, and oh my God, he's going to sit there and cry because there's some dead animals. Oh my God, he's going to sit there and get emotional because this little pig runs out to meet him because he's been evacuated for a couple of days and this pig has been alone and had to try to find a way to survive this horrific flood. And those same people who are so appalled at this guy is saying, what a coward, what a chicken shit, what kind of a man would leave his animals to die? Okay, well, that right there could have been enough to take this man and put him into the pits of despair. Oh, don't think it didn't have its effect. Don't think that those words didn't have an effect because, in fact, those words had me guessing and second-guessing. I can't sit still. And second guessing all of the events that led up to the evacuation, wondering if I should have done something. How would I have known to have done anything? Man, I second guess everything about the the two weeks leading up to Hurricane Harvey. But you know what? I wasn't the only guy that was caught off guard by 
the worst natural disaster. Look it up, y'all. The worst natural disaster to ever strike the United States happened right there in the little town of Plum Grove, and I was caught right in the heart of it. Now, had I known it was going to be the worst natural disaster to ever strike the United States, of course, any responsible pet owner would have grabbed your pets and if you had a way to evacuate your larger animals. But no one tells you that, guys. No one knows that kind of stuff. It takes things that all come together to have made that storm as bad as it was things that no one could have foreseen okay <sighs> it was hard to get over that it was hard to watch that video but even harder to read some of the comments but guess what out of every one of those mean horrible comments there was also a hundred two hundred three hundred people who were very supportive and understanding of what you found yourself caught up in. Understanding that whereas you could very easily take your cat or your dog and evacuate them, you can't as easily pick up goats and cows and pigs and donkeys. Nope, you can't do that, guys. And so those people were appreciative that I at least opened the gates. I didn't leave animals in small pastures where they had to fight to get out of their pasture the way you've seen happen. I gave the animals a fighting chance. Me and my older son, we evacuated with our dogs and cats along with everybody else in Plum Grove. That would be everybody else in Plum Grove. Guys, there wasn't a home in the entire town of Plum Grove that was spared. I wasn't the only guy that lost a lot of my farm babies. So it was the 300 people out of every one that was being mean to me who was calling me a coward who was telling me just the most evil of things, who were supportive, who tried to find a way to lift you up and they did. It was the positive comments, those that could share similar experiences, those that understood my pain, that began to help create what we have now. Well, it's just the best farm page on the internet, that's all. It's just the best farm page on the entire internet. That's just my opinion. But it's a pretty darn good farm page. I'm gonna sit here in the shade and look out over that river. <clears throat> And so comments did a lot right after the very first video you ever saw of Lester. But you have no idea what comments did a little bit later on. I've told this story before. Some of y'all are hearing this for the second or the third time. Probably the first time you've heard it sitting here by this river. But once I began to rebuild fences, turned my barn into a home. You want to know what it was that kept me going? Do you want to know what it was that kept me going when I looked around and couldn't find a whole lot to keep going far? When everyone that I knew had up and sold their property up and he, he abandoned their farms, including their animals, a lot of them including their animals. When everybody I knew found some way out of 
of that situation, I chose to rebuild. I chose to rebuild my home, rebuild my farm, and uh, as hard as it was, as hard as it was, it were comments that I would read at night. As I was working there by day, and by night I would lay there and it was hard to sleep, you know, there was no air conditioning. I remember my shoulder was rubbing up against the wall that had only raw insulation. There was no plastic or no, nothing to cover the insulation. So I had this horrible rash down one side of my body. But it was comments that I would read. I'd sit there and open up my phone and read comments on the latest video of whatever room I was working on or whatever fence I was building. And you see, at that point, no one had anything mean to say about a guy who was trying to rebuild his life. Every comment was positive and uplifting, and it encouraged me to keep going. It was the kind of comments that made you feel like what you were doing was the right thing. And as, as tired as you were, and as just depleted spiritually, emotionally, and especially physically, you had to just get up and keep going. The next day, you just kept going. And isn't that funny that through all that time and through all those comments, people had a really hard time being mean to a guy that was trying his best to rebuild his life. But look where we're at now. Look where we're at, at now. Now you have a guy that has not only rebuilt his farm, but turned his farm into a forever home for farm animal rescues. Are y'all seeing the size of some of the fish in this river? That was a big Opelousa catfish right there. He came to the top and grabbed that insect. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Now we've gotten to a point to where now you don't see a guy rebuilding his home. Now what he's doing is building his dream. And doesn't that piss you off? Doesn't that just piss you off? Oh, I know I'm talking mean, and this is probably a little bit too harsh for a lot of folks to watch. But it's true. Every word of it is true. Back when I was building fences... And rebuilding my home and trying to find a way to turn, you know, get my life back in order. There was no mean comments. But now that my life is turned around for the better. And instead of rebuilding my home, I'm actually building my dream. Now all of a sudden it's a nice time to be mean again. It's a real nice time to, to tell this guy what a sorry piece of shit. Is and just what a <laughs> really do y'all not see how there's something wrong with that picture what I'm doing is building a fence I mean come on I'm building a fence I'm building a fence the same way I've built many many other fences and the fences that I'm building will one day be the home to Tex and Santana and that family of amazing cows that we all love so much. It'll be the home to Carl and his lady friends. It'll end up being the home to a lot more than that over time. So what does it matter if I'm building the fence now for the animals compared to building the fence then for the animals. The difference is in you. Seriously, you heard me right. The difference is in some of you. But what I'm encouraged by 
is the same thing I was encouraged by five years ago. For every one of you, rotten, I'm sorry, that was probably mean. For every one of you folks who are having a bad day, read the comments around yours. Read the comments above and below your comment. Look at the words of encouragement. Look at the, you know, the kindness that people can still exude. The happiness that people feel when they see someone fulfilling a dream. You know, I'm not sitting there in front of the TV, laying on my ass, paying for someone else to build my dream. I'm over here every day, every single day. I have to miss lunch with Jamie. And I come here and I work right through lunch, right through lunch. And I get back in time to drive my school bus and I still do my job. I'm still spending time with my children every chance that I get. I still include my kids and Jamie and everything that I do. But yeah, I work. And so lady who says, every morrow man I know can build a fence. Why are you the only one that wants to show off and brag about it? Do you not like my fences? <laughs> what do I not do for you? What can I what can I video for you? Ever since you got Longhorn Lesters, you stopped making animal videos. You've forgotten what got you here. Uh no, I am preparing a home for those that got me here. Surprise! I'm building pasture fences. What do you think lives in pastures? Tell you what, it was a lot easier walking down this river road than it is walking back up. But I needed that little bit of a break. So thank y'all for listening to me rant. And that wasn't really a rant. That was more of a, just a fun conversation about people. I'm going to plant grass seed here. I'm going to plant grass seed here. I want to take my tractor and kind of clean some of that out, at least kind of level it off a little bit. And then I'm going to come by and plant grass seed. It's very shady here. So I have to get the right kind of seed. But uh, comments do a lot to inspire and help push people along. Comments can also do a lot to break someone's spirit, make them feel less of themselves. And so I would encourage you to think a little bit about the intended purpose of your comment next time before you post one and ask yourself what's the purpose and intent what are you trying to uh, do with this here comment you trying to build somebody up or are you trying to knock somebody down make them feel less of themselves I am breathing hard because not only am I walking up a very steep hill, but now I'm pulling a water hose behind me. <laughs> the water hose is from the last fire that I built. I'm sure y'all have heard that story. All right. I am going to get back to building my dream, preparing a place for Tex and his ladies. And yes, I'm going to do it as nice and as beautiful as I can. And I appreciate you guys watching and supporting. And I appreciate you guys watching, even if you're not supportive of my decision 
to buy this property and eventually move my babies here. But it is my decision. The people who I've talked to about it, the ones in my life who are a part of my journey as far as my home life goes, are very supportive of this. And so I would hope that at some point you could get on board. But if not, just remember one thing, no matter what you think about me, <laughs> I can make a damn good fence. I can. I am a master fence builder. And like I said earlier on, I can also install gates.